Hey everyone, and welcome to the next tutorial. We're today, it's the long-awaited minifig tutorial. I've got a lot of requests about this, so today I'm going to show you a simple rig of a minifig. Uh, this is not a complicated rig, this isn't what I use. Um, but it will get you started. So we're starting out in MLCAD, and I'm just building my, my minifig here, giving him some hair. Picking the right colors. No, I'm not gonna pick colors today. So uh, we've inserted our minifig into MLCAD, and uh, for those who know how to do this, I've put a link to skip to when we get into Blender. But um, something that we do with minifigs is we need to use a plain head, not the one with the design, but we still need the design as well. So what I'm doing is um, I put this guy into a separate file and then I'm going to paste it over to where our minifig is, drag it so that they're not overlapping and uh, that's it. So we're going to export it. We only need that middle file that we created. Uh, so we're exporting it to the desktop and then I'm going to open up Blender 2.49. Now I do use Blender uh, 2.63 but I still use 2.49 in my pipeline. So I'm uh, going to do that in the tutorial as well got rid of the cube now we're importing the minifig off of the desktop there it is so we're gonna import that now it should be a bit larger than it's supposed to but that's all right we're going to just select it all rotate it and it should size down the colors will be all weird but if you just go into edit mode uh, that should be fixed I'm gonna save it because I don't want to have to redo it if something goes wrong which is apt to happen during a tutorial. So uh, saving that to the desktop and I think we're good to go. So the first step is we're gonna have to um, assign vertice groups to all our body parts. And conveniently this isn't uh, one mesh. Oh yeah, I'm just replacing the, the head with the design out with the solid one. Um, and you'll see why in the next tutorial, but for now just follow along or don't follow along it's not not a big deal this stuff doesn't take that long to do it so you can do it whatever way you want now and then follow on. okay so now we're going to the vertex groups so you go to edit mode select them all and then you create a new vertex vertex group and name it something generic like head then you have to assign it do the same with the body edit mode select all new body and uh it's important that you remember what you name each of these because when we create our armature, we're going to be, uh, they have to be the exact same. Uh, also note, if all this seems a bit confusing to you, I'm going to have a text version available soon as well. So if you're more into reading going slowly, then you can do that as well. But this is all pretty simple. It's just doing the same thing. Uh, there I just hit uh, you to the uh, LDRAW kind of linked them together with the import script so when you edit one it edited the other and I just made them both unique so that when you edit one it only edits one uh, instead of both of them but that's probably not that important the main thing here is that you're getting um, all the vertice groups assigned and when you go into edit mode to one that you've already done and you unselect then just on the vertice group selection there you hit select uh, it should select your group otherwise there's something wrong but uh, also remember to get your left and rights correct and uh, yeah just keep going um, this could probably be called body 2 like the other one but I'm just gonna call it body underscore 2 no oh, underscore 3 underscore 2 and uh, I don't know if I'll even do anything with that but uh, that's what I'm calling it I'm sure you guys could think up more creative names for that part, but I'll leave that to you. Uh, don't forget the hair. And, um, you know, I think that's pretty much everything. All the vertice groups should be assigned by now. And when you're uh, sure that you've done that, make sure to save. Control S to save. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a plane at center of the texture. Do we do that? No. Oh, we're going to start with the armature. So I, I just added the armature. 
I made sure to center my cursor on my at the body. Uh, I think that's Control C. I, I don't remember what that is, but um, maybe it's Control. Oh yeah, you select your body, your body, and then you hit Control S, and that should do it. Okay, so I hit temperature, and now I'm just going ahead and uh, I'm positioning them all at the right joints. So you can see the one bones at the arm, at the torso, ones at the uh, ones at the neck. We're not going to use that this tutorial. We'll use it another one. But uh, one's at the head, and now these are getting positioned uh, right where the arm's supposed to turn. Um, to duplicate an armature, you hit Control D, and uh, that's all pretty basic stuff. So now it's important to also make sure that you're naming your bones the same as what you named your uh, vertex, vertex groups, the exact same, that includes capitals and everything. So for this bone that I'm doing here, it needs to be hair, all lowercase. Otherwise, when I move it, um, the hair piece won't move. So I'm just going to rename it here to hair. And that applies to all the bones, uh, the, bo the bo uh, body bone, the left, right arms, left, right hands, they all have to be the same. So uh, yeah, just try and follow along, position Position the bones in about the same way. I mean, if you find a, a position that works better for the way you animate, then go ahead and do that. And again, this isn't going to give you any super advanced uh, rigging abilities. It's just going to do the bare, bare basics. Oh, yes. Also, make sure that you're parenting your, uh, your bones. So this one here is the left arm, and it needs to be the child of the body. Uh, oh, no, sorry, that was the hand. So the hand had to be arm, arm, body. And a little dotted line should connect your uh, your bones. Um, the nice part of this method is you can move one without affecting the other. Uh, the bad part of this method is you can move one without affecting the other. Eventually, I'm going to show you a way that you can do it. So let's say you have a, a foot bone. You can move the foot bone and your whole leg is going to move. But uh, here, when you move, say, your hand bone, only the hand will be affected. Uh, but we, we might go a bit more advanced than that, but not much. Not much at all. Uh, that tutorial will come later. So, yeah, just keep going along, getting, uh, getting it all set up the way it should be. And you can kind of see there's a good skeleton there now. Uh, we've got our hands, arms, body, head legs so that's just a very basic that's how a traditional minifig moves there's no flexibility oh yes and there's the uh, <laughs> body two bone um, again make sure your all your uh, bone hierarchy is all set up and uh, save it don't forget to save Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center my cursor to my body and add a plane. And then what, because kind of the LDRI import script messes everything up, um, I'm just going to, I'm going to add parent. I'm going to join all my parts to that plane that I added, but I'm not going to parent uh, that other head there. So you kind of have to zoom right in and uh, deselect that center spot. So that when you move all your parts, it's only moving what you want to be moved. And then you delete the plane. Uh, that was probably pretty confusing. but uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, so now since your minifig is one thing, oh, to, you're going to join them all, so that's Control-J. And now you're going to parent that to the armature, which is Control-P. So once you've done that, when you move your armature, like I'm doing here, uh, the corresponding parts should move. And it's pretty simple. That's uh, that's how you do it. Um, so hopefully it worked for you. If it didn't, then uh, you can send me a, a message on face on YouTube, and I'm normally okay at answering sometimes, unless I've already answered the question ten times. But uh, 
yeah, just send me a question. <laughs> and I always like like hearing from people. So I'm going to move the head out of the way. I think that's pretty much it. Again, we did this in 2.49. I don't think you can import LDRAW parts yet into 2.63. But you can uh, you can do it in 2.49 and then open it up in 2.6 whatever uh, very easily. So that's not a problem. Um, oh, right here, there's a bit of a problem with that body part. As you can see, there's a hole. There's a hole. That's a bad place to have a hole. So I just used my vertices groups, selected only those. So you can see I'm only moving that part. Even though it's one mesh, I can still pick any part out that I want. And then I'm just going to go in and fix it. Uh, the armature part of this tutorial is done. So if you want to stick around and watch me uh, fix this, you can. I just extruded the, the sides there, joined them together by hitting S and scaling along the x-axis, and then uh, W to remove the remove the vertice doubles, and uh, then you just move it back into place, and it's all good. Actually, I'm thinking now I didn't... Uh, I didn't do this in the tutorial, but those new vertices groups that I ex vertices I extruded, you're gonna have to uh, probably assign those with the one of the vertices uh, vertices groups that we did because they're probably unassigned. I didn't think of that. I did not think of that. Um, just getting a good look at it with uh, with the camera. <laughs> 